So after misfiring on the opening day, Manchester United come to a venue where they've underperformed in recent times, beaten on three of their last four Premiership visits. And Nani there takes a quick free kick looking for Ryan Giggs. Steve Bennett was in charge when Manchester United lost the FA Cup final last season to Chelsea, denying them a double. The league was the one they really wanted to win, but they haven't started their defence too well. A real surprise that they failed to score as much as that they failed to win at the weekend. Here's Nemanja Vidic. Craney with a header away. Craney has played in the Premiership before for Southampton, scored an own goal on his debut against Chelsea. Here's Tevez. Well, Harry Redknapp has been a little bit more cautious tonight. Played a 4-4-2 at Derby at the weekend, but certainly when they lose it tonight, on either side, Utaka and Benjani are just dropping off to make up a five, make it more difficult for United to get Ronaldo and Nani on the ball on either side of the pitch and it's going to make it a bit more difficult for David Nugent up there on his own Portsmouth keen to break up United's flow with the introduction of Tevez they've been given a real boost here United and they needed it. Tevez wasn't uh, considered fit enough and ready enough at the weekend, but he's been pressed into action maybe a little earlier than United would have liked. They talked about the derby on Sunday as the point where they'd like to introduce him. But it's needs must. Here's Ronaldo. Pedro Mendes out to him immediately to press the ball in that protective role just in front of the two centre-backs there, big responsibility for him in there tonight. The Portuguese influence on this game and Harry Redknapp will be hoping that Pedro Mendes exerts himself and that it's not the wide men of United, Nani and Cristiano Ronaldo who wreak havoc. going for the header, although he didn't get anywhere near it, it's Ferdinand with the header away, Sean Davis, Pedro Mendes, there's Nugent, and now Craney. Vidic, forced into the corner by Nugent, plenty of clubs who looked at Nugent, but it was Harry Redknapp who took the gamble on the man who's forged a great reputation in his time with Preston. Craney's throw, cleared by Vidic. And Johnny lost control, and it was Giggs who cleared to Tevez, who is the furthest forward for United. Giggs has got into that position now, and he's looked to play him in between Craney and Distan. Well, Craney did well to get back, so a real turn of pace here, because United broke very quickly. Good body strength on the halfway line by Tevez. He had to turn under pressure and try and play Giggs into the inside left channel. And Tevez has started as a, a centre-forward. his cross, no problem for David James in taking that nothing to hit there David James looking for a bit of movement further up the pitch, nothing on for him Montari away by Ferdinand Russell Ryderson goals Ronaldo trying a trick or two but it's taken away from him by Montari who's tried to play Nugent in well that's going to be the story of the night there for David Nugent a little nudge there from Vidic was it spotted by Steve Bennett well there's a push in the back of Vidic by Nugent himself first and Vidic then maybe overreacted it's just a talking to a tough night for David Nugent, he's going to be playing against Vidic and Ferdinand on his own at times. It's 
was a delightfully weighted ball in behind her. Vinic is always getting round and just blocks him off there to protect his goalkeeper. Well, Nugent's push was first. And Vinic met it with an equal response. There's Noe Pamaro, Scholes, Carrick, Giggs. Trying to spread it wide to Carlos Tevez. Home debut tonight for David Nugent, who's prepared to put himself about. Missed a couple of chances at the weekend, and I'm sure he'll be delighted when he does get off the mark. We know he can take a chance. And he will have to take anything that comes his way tonight. I don't think he's going to get too many in open play. It'll take a bit of a battering as well from uh, Nemanja Vidic, who's certainly not shy on the physical side of the game. Brown under pressure from John Utaka. Chris Brown is into the final year of his contract with Manchester United and may just be keeping the position warm for Gary Neville, who's not expected back until next month at the earliest. Here's Scholes, now Nani, Evra, Scholes, Carrick wide to Patrice Evra, looking for Ronaldo with his cross, was there a push in the back of Ronaldo there? Horidison came in and Ronaldo's protests weren't too long, certainly. Certainly seemed to be some contact, Portsmouth a bit sloppy and not stopping the cross coming in from the left-hand side. Giggs, Benjani, is Craney, Pedro Mendes, great noise inside Fratton Park as ever, they really are a vocal, passionate crowd here. They're looking for a response to the disappointment of letting points slip away on the opening day with a two-all draw at Derby. Didn't lose any of their first five matches at the start of last season. Bolton were the first team to beat them, and that was here in September of last year. Ever coming in with a challenge on Pedro Mendes. Here's Noe Pamaro. On by Montari and Benjani's looking to get in here. Vidic came across to cover. Oh, Vidic did well. Lovely ball threaded into the inside right channel, and Benjani is playing a little bit wider tonight than he did at the weekend. Would have been in had Vidic not got across. Montari with a corner. Tarker had got in front of Edwin van der Sar, but it was a comfortable take for the goalkeeper. Davis has failed to cut it out, and Tevez is onto that sharply, but just as sharp was Martin Craney, whose uh, pace has been a useful asset so far for Portsmouth. That's when they've got to try and get support up to David Nugent. He just helped it in, in behind there, but nobody getting close enough to him to, to link up. Rio Ferdinand will be looking to put behind him the horrors of this fixture last season when United lost in April when it looked at that stage as though their title ambitions might be wobbling. Ferdinand's own goal was the cap on a pretty catastrophic night. Here's Ronaldo. Brown. Vidic. Noé Pamaro, Ferdinand, here's Ronaldo, the 
this is Nani. Great tackle. Terrific tackle from Martin Crane again. Good demonstration of the young fullback's pace. He was caught initially there, tucking in to, to try and pick up Tevez. When the ball was switched left, Nani had a chance to get running at him, and that is good defending. Stayed up as long as he could. If anything, he's making the challenge with the wrong foot there, but did ever so well. well Martin Crane may have to win over one or two of the more narrow-minded sections of the support, which I'm sure is in the minority here for his Southampton connections. But he's made a good start here. Goals, tackling have been the uh, best part of his game. Surprised if this doesn't go in the box. Ryderson's gone up, offers a very good target, back post. Davis has aimed it for him. Got up with a header, but Ferdinand clears. Only to Pedro Mendes, who is urged to shoot. Mendes again. Antari. He gave the goal, surely, was he? <laughs> well, this hasn't been a happy hunting ground for Sir Alec Ferguson in recent times. Four Premier League visits, three of which have ended up in defeat. And that would be a worry for the Manchester United manager off the back of the disappointment of the weekend draw when Reading did so well to keep them out. And Mantari's made a lively start, Carrick there stuck with him, Benjani's come across to try and help out. Here's Nani. And away by Sylvan Distan, who was worried, I think, about a knock that uh, Noe Pamaro had picked up. Accidental, it's Ryan Gates left hand that catches him. It's okay. Both of the as well, in the absence of Saul Campbell tonight. Portsmouth fans felt that United should have returned the ball because Distan put it out through concern for Pamaro, but United play on. And it comes to nothing. Here's Herman Horidison. Taka. Pedro Mendes. Here's Distan. Moved on by Horidison. John Utaka. Here's Carrick. Now Nani. City among the former clubs of David James, although he's locked horns with Manchester United in many guises, particularly with our other great rivals, Liverpool. Vidic. Rio Ferdinand looking for gigs. Hamaro had to deal with that. Craney helps it away. Surprised that Ryan Gage wasn't penalised, had a little hand on the, the back there of Pamaro as the ball was arriving in the box. Perhaps Steve Bennett blindside. Nani, neat footwork by him, but not across to match. It's just done away. Here's Carrick. Ferdinand. Ronaldo. Tevez. That's Nani's cross. Tevez takes it down and lines it up for Scholes! Magnificent trademark Paul Scholes finish. And it was Tevez who set it up. Oh, it's absolutely stunning finish from Paul Scholes to arrive with perfect timing. Decent ball in from the left hand side from Nani with the right foot. 
But when Tevis controls this, he needs help. He obviously gets a shout from Scholes. The weight of the layoff is perfection, but what about the finish? He's caught it absolutely flush. And the ball's in the back of the net before David James has hit the ground there. Well, Paul Scholes has now scored more Premier League goals for Manchester United than any other player. He was level on 95 with Ruud van Nistelrooy coming into this match, but the man who has long been described by Sir Alec Ferguson as the best finisher at the club has now moved on to 96 Premier League goals, which makes him outright United's best. And there are plenty of great goals amongst them. Another one to add to the collection, and Tevez played his part. Certainly, they did clearly got a, a very early shoot from Paul Scholes, who arrived with all the type of timing that he's renowned for. Well, that was under the kick, for which uh, Herman Hawadison was challenging. Tussling with Sylvain Distan, who tried to pull back at him. Ferdinand, here's Carrick. Looking for Nani. Evra! Always rising, never really a threat to David James. But I think the problem the Portsmouth have, or Martin Crane in particular, has two centre-backs are asking him to tuck in so that the inside left channel isn't open for Tevez but it's leaving United with a switch on continually to Nani on that side of the pitch good set-up play again from Nani it's a situation that Tony Adams and Harry Redknapp and Joe Jordan who's on the coaching staff will be looking to address Nugent helps it on and Vidic stops Utaka from taking it right the way through Flag up. Nugent went for the ball well helped on there again by David Nugent Utaka might have tried that first time might have taken on first time it was a nice hit for him eventually for offside coming back from an offside position Bryderson Brown scored in their last two Premier League matches of last season Carlos Tevez scored against them in one of those games they've never ever gone four Premier League games without scoring before and Paul Scholes has ensured that it's not going to happen in this sequence either Scholes under pressure here though from Davis needed help he did well to get out of that Scholes Giggs Camaro's header, here's Pedro Mendes. Nani's gone to close him down. I think Gianni's got to do a little bit better with that type of diagonal. Ever is not the biggest. Not a great deal of conviction about the leap there. All well, the United fans in good voice now. He's his way out of trouble there against David Nugent. His header hasn't carried. This is Giggs. Driven across well. Here's Ronaldo. 
And it's Brown who's bombed forward here. Where's Brown? Deflected into the side netting for a corner. It's Mutari, I think, who can close down the front post. Great offer from Wes Brown, though. United had nowhere to go on the right-hand side, and a terrific forward run from Brown. All of a sudden, it opened up very nicely down that side. Giggs with the corner. In. Vidic made a good leap for it, couldn't quite get there. Nani scores again. Ferdinand measured ball into Nani. Davis came in with a challenge. Well, oh, Senna had to take some of the ball, he was wrong side there to make the tackle. Steve Bennett well positioned to call it. Love the little reverse here from Rio Ferdinand. Shaped as if he was going to knock it into the back post. So Bobby Charlton, whose playing record with United is uh, under threat from Ryan Giggs. Giggs and Skulls, part of the golden generation from Manchester United that still to this day bears fruit alongside the uh, new players that. Sir Alec Ferguson is always introducing. Skulls and Giggs in particular have been mainstays of this team over the trophy-laden success years that they've had. So Bobby himself, I'm sure, would have been pleased with that finish from Paul Skulls. Pretty happy overall, Rob, with what he's watching. United's work has been very good, moved the ball very quickly. Well up for this, well up to speed, both when they have the ball and when they don't have it. Pressing it really well in every area of the pitch. That's it. Here's Nani. Cut out by Horidison. Keep it in. Retake. Evra. Support Pedro Mendes for the corner. Well, it was Martin Craney who was caught two against one there. Again, it's Benjani who was caught. John Craney was, was caught between two players there. Going for the corner from Nani, to whom he's given it back. And it's Nugent away. have a goal yet although you wouldn't necessarily rule him out of making a goal scoring contribution such as the minus touch he had for West Ham in the closing part of the last campaign but even so he's had a part to play in the goal that Manchester United have scored now there's little flick Bunting and barging with Noé Pamaro, who won the physical battle. Pedro Mendes. Fine rain has just begun to fall here at Fratton Park.
Madison lining up the long throw in. It's Montari's cross. A vital header away by Michael Carrick. Yeah, well defended. Good ball into a horrible area there for Van der Sar. Hardly one he could come for. Even a player with as poor a scoring record as Sean Davis might have made something of that had Carrick not intervened. But Portsmouth have run for themselves a corner here. So the danger by no means over for United. Christian and Tamaro were both in there. There must have been concern there for Van der Sar because it certainly wasn't cleared at full height. Ball was almost on the ground there. Portsmouth with nobody getting round the back. going down, going down too cheaply for the referee's liking, anyway, here's Nani, Giggs, Carrick, Vidic, Goals. Brown. Skulls. Giggs. Characteristic from Giggs, and he immediately uh, acknowledges his error. So he would have expected that from his captain. Goals. Tevez, he's offside Ronaldo. That's Martin Crini who's looking along the line there, knows he's up in time. He was very tight, Crini's hand goes up immediately and there must have been some relief there when the flag went up. Joe Jordan, a former Manchester United player actually in uh, caretaker charge for Portsmouth in a game against United just before Harry Redknapp's return to the club Davis's touch cleared by Everett Mendes Johnny, Pedro Mendes, Tevez, Nani, Skulls, Carrick, Giggs. Ronaldo, lovely touch into the path of Wes Brown. Giggs, Tevez is offside. You know, he might have rather had the free kick out on the far side there. Cristiano Ronaldo, that it was blocked off there by Herr Aderson. Tevez clearly offside in the central area. Well, even after the move came to nothing. Cristiano Ronaldo stared for a long time at Steve Bennett, wondering if he was going to take further action against the Portsmouth defender, but nothing was done by the referee. Half an hour gone, and Manchester United, the Premier League's top scorers last season, have their first of this campaign. Paul Stoll's the scorer. Here's Evra. Four over to his right. Tevez was one of them, but Giggs got in front of him and then gave it away. 
break so quickly though United and in this right back position Martin Craney has a problem because Benjani doesn't fancy tracking back so often he's been caught two against one but never goes forward to link up with Nani down that side Carrick Skulls now Nani Vidic, Davis, Mendes, here's Sean Davis, Benjani, Horidison, behind Nugent although the aim was probably for Benjani cut out by Evra it's Brown Tevez up on his own here with three back Giggs Tevez Giggs just couldn't take it in his stride okay it's Craney tucking in there as he's had to do on several occasions tonight but Tevez has done well so far and he has been asked to be the focal point of the attack the centre forward He's doing not too badly at all up there. Vidic. Nani. Here's Vidic. Skulls. Ronaldo. Giggs. Davis Ferdinand Mendes It's a midfield partnership that Hargreaves is looking to dislodge but so far Carrick and Scholes have done the business for Manchester United Portsmouth here are having to try and counter the goal that Scholes has scored as Tevez back doing a defensive shift there in the right back here and he had to otherwise Portsmouth are getting a cross into the box there's another one coming up now though Davis' is corner. Fernandes are always favourite ball in there. Far too long for anybody to go and attack it. Davis took down Pedro Mendes, who's taken a quick free kick here to Sean Davis. Fancies a crack. It's very ambitious from there. That's going to do well now and again to fly into the top corner. Good free, early free kick taken by Mendes, though. Well, for me, he's been the pick of the bunch for Portsmouth. He's the one who, who's building the game for them. Opened up nicely. Now and again, you get lucky. Well, he doesn't need telling what a good goalkeeper Edwin van der Sar is. Sean Davis, he played alongside him at Fulham. Ferdinand. Ronaldo let's come back and Tevez was there but couldn't follow it in well the spill was always a danger it was a really awkward one for David James he reckoned he should have had more protection it it should have been cleared when it came off him ever challenging with Craney clipped in by Giggs and that time he did have protection and not necessarily needed Horidas though couldn't take the chance yeah I did right whether he got a shout or not if he can deal with it he's got to do that 
and he got it safe. Anxious times again though for the home side. Giggs. Nani goes low. Another corner off Nugent this time. An uneasy spell for the home team this. Already trailing. To lose a second goal here would make the second half a real uphill struggle for them. this one, Ronaldo pressing a battle to keep it in, did that in a tight spot, some tussle with Pamero that, he's won a corner. I went out and I think it's great, I had nowhere to go out there in the line there Ronaldo and somehow managed to win a corner out of it, and as you say Rob, absolutely crucial here the Portsmouth don't lose another one, the way United are playing, I don't think Harry Redknapp said to give them two of a start. Giggs with this kick. Well, this was a decent save from David James. Pamero shows Ronaldo onto his left side, but opens up enough for him to get a shot away. And he felt that a blue jersey should have been first to get the clearance away. Eventually they did, did see it out. Taking no chances at the back post. Cristiano Ronaldo will have quite a struggle on to match the standards he set last year. Oh, never slipped. Here's Nani. Talked of as a new Ronaldo, although in truth he's not actually uh, that much younger than Ronaldo himself. Just a couple of years his junior. Vidic. Here's Sylvain Distat. Stan and David James, both former Manchester City players, and that's the team that United face next at the weekend. Here's Sean Davis. Now Craney. Vidic with the header clip. Evra. Here's Montari. Dispossessed by Carrick, who's looked up and seen Tevez. Probably the wrong option, Cristiano Ronaldo having a look at glare at Michael Carrick there. Taking up good position, but it was a good steal there from Carrick. Typical of the way United have been hounding the ball when they don't have it. Distan. Skulls. Here's Brown. Carrick. Giggs. Skulls. Ferdinand to Giggs. Nani. Now Ebra. Pamero did well, but again it was Benjani who was struggling to match the forward run of Evra. He was running off him for fun down this side in this first half. Easy 
sake, although uh, off the ball, Cristiano Ronaldo claims that he was impeded. Parker with a flick on. Quite carry to Sean Davis. Finish looking for Tevez. Here's Ronaldo. Ferdinand. Giggs. Tevez. Tari did well. Here's Horidison. Montari. Now Taka. Well time ch uh, challenge this time by Scholes. Nicely says David Nugent, back to goal, over to goal, what a good time this would be for Portsmouth to nick one, they have really been in it so far, haven't made a clean chance, but from a set piece you never know. Understand and Horidison who are both useful threats uh, forward for Sean Davis's kick, but there's a delay to taking it because in the midst of all that Steve Bennett wants to calm a few tempers. And minding his own man, Benjani. <laughs> Davis's kick. Cleared by Ronaldo and then on by Nani. And Tari got it back through. Helped on to Benjani if he can get there. Good defending though by Vidic. Good love to get around Manchester United looking for a flag there. Stayed, stayed down. Would have been a, a chance here. But for the pace here of Vidic to get round. Just look then as though it might fall kindly for Benjani, who opened his account at the weekend. Here's Craney. Benjani. It's a foul by Ebra. Well, Benjani's a bit theatrical, but it's certainly a free kick. It's an English one from Ebra. He was well positioned. United will have to defend right on top of Edwin van der Sar here. Well, two minutes to half time, and what a time it would be for Portsmouth to strike back. Oh yeah, a real waste. Nobody getting round the back. Well, people wondered how Sir Alec Ferguson would cope with the loss of Wayne Rooney, but it's not a new situation for him. He was without Rooney for the early part of last season through suspension then, and not for as long as he will be this season. But the second, third and fourth games of the season which Rooney missed, United won them all. Be disappointed they're only one up though. I think on the play they deserve better than that. Fernando aware of Van der Sar's position. Is getting a hard time out there, not getting enough protection off Steve Bennett, he reckons. And not getting much sympathy from the crowd yeah. either, but then he expects that. Oh, you can understand why Portsmouth want to pay him so much attention. You don't want to let this lad get turned and running at you. Here's Evra. And Tevez, the United front men have gone roaming again. And the players to uh, stick to fixed positions. Here's Nani, 
Just one additional minute in the first half. Montari. Brown. Michael Carrick caught by Mendes. Clear. Well, Manchester United have their first goal of the new Premier League campaign, and in scoring it, Paul Scholes has become their most prolific player ever in the Premier League. His 96th Premier League goal, moving one ahead of Ruud van Nistelrooy. But it was a combination of the old and the new. Carlos Tevez, the new man, helped set it up. A trademark blistering finish from Scholes to make a half-time score of Portsmouth nil. Manchester United won. fixture list hasn't been kind with the current run of fixtures to Portsmouth because this is the first of matches against all of last season's top four in the space of a month after Bolton here they've got Chelsea and Arsenal away and then Liverpool here it's asking something to get out of that program as we shuffled this back four is Pamelo to right back now Horaiderson in beside this time in the central area and Jimmy Traore at left back Feels it's been a little too comfortable for Manchester United in that first half. Looks if he's going with two up front as well. Benjani, who did play right side and was trying to drop off when they lost the ball, looks as if he's going to play as a twin striker beside David Nugent. And I'm quite sure that Nugent will welcome that short of company in that first half. So no injuries among the two players that Harry Redknapp has taken off. There's Priori. Montari, Taylor, Ferdinand failed to cut it out, here's Utaka, John Utaka, he's heading back by Scholes, good block by Rio Ferdinand, positioning absolutely spot on, but a little bit of encouragement here for Portsmouth. and the England coach is at Fratton Park tonight. The dismal news he had from United at the weekend when Wayne Rooney's injury cost him a place in the forthcoming qualifiers. Here to see his former club in the flesh this evening. and is cleared by Michael Carrick who was caught as he cleared that Brown Ronaldo it's Brown's head up by Sylvain Distan Brown Montari did well, found Utaka but it should the head of it you've got to hand it to Harry Redknapp 
not prepared to, to sit in for as, as so often they do against Manchester United for 20, give it 20, 25 minutes before having a goal. He, he's changed the system, he's got Benjani up there beside Nugent. The tack has moved further forward on the right hand side. So he's not settling for defeat here tonight. Eric Tevez. Sorry. Carrick. Scholes, now Giggs. Scholes again. Here's Ronaldo. And he's played in Nani. On his favourite side. Well, it's a good save, but it's a save you'd expect David James to make. He's very little angle there too from which to score there Nani lovely play from Ronaldo once he cuts inside Portsmouth is shot in the right back position lovely little change of feet there to get him in behind Tamaro and a decent block there from David James Giggs with a corner Vidic that's Montari Nugent. Davis was up, but covered by West Brown. Safety first with a shortage of other options then for West Brown. Nani. Skulls. Over the top for Tevez. Good starting position from David James, but Giggs still tried to catch him out. Well, they had to take it on. David James was still on the edge of his box there when it broke to Ryan Giggs. He's under pressure there from Horaiderson. He'll do very well to, to score. It's an awkward tight. People doing well here to sweep well outside his box. He sat up nicely for Ryan Giggs, but Horaiderson putting enough pressure on to make sure he wasn't getting it clean. Distant. Now Benjani. Here's Montari. Taylor. Stopped by Rio Ferdinand against Matthew Taylor. on by Giggs Scholes links up with Ronaldo it's Nani and it's Scholes again this time for Tevin the first touch is terrific, absolutely terrific, it's a nice height and I did expect him to score I've got to say, real awkward one as it comes to him, he takes all the pace off the ball, he has to take it early, it's been squeezed from either side, but he has a technique to score from there. Well it was his 17th appearance for West Ham before he got his first Premiership goal, settled in the Premiership thanks to the efforts of his mentor Kio Jurabchen who's here tonight will be hoping to make his mark a little quicker with Manchester United Portsmouth looking to make their mark here though it's Taylor yes Benjani equalizes and that is right out of the blue oh, such a good cross from Matthew Taylor because he doesn't just hang it up at the back post he drives it into the box and Benjani arriving with perfect timing just as Paul Scholes did for Manchester United and there's enough pace in the ball here he's just got to get it onto the target and Edwin van der Sar doesn't even bother diving he's wrong footed and he knows he's beaten what a good header but what a good ball in for Matthew Taylor a goal 
of stunning simplicity in the end from Portsmouth and Benjani who scored on the opening day against Derby gets his second in as many games and Manchester United from a position of apparent comfort have to start all over again Ronaldo and it's away by Distan Well, Mansari's being shown a yellow card here by Steve Bennett for a collection of offences which the referee's been totting up. The latest misdemeanour giving a free kick to put Harry Redknapp's team under pressure. 10 out of 10 to Harry Redknapp, I say. But having a real go in the second half and it's paid off so far. A lot of football left in the game, of course. Well, they're right back in it and they have exactly the reaction from this crowd they would have wanted. Well, it's within Ronaldo's range. And it is Ronaldo and it fizzes back off David James. To Portsmouth's goal scorer, Benjani. Wonder if it went through the wall. David James appeared to see it very late. Out of that, it took a big dip just in front of him. Did well to get his gloves up. A sufficient reaction from the Portsmouth goalkeeper to keep Ronaldo at bay. And Harry Redknapp's team now really do have the bit between their teeth. Here's Nugent. Davis. Pamaro. It's a very different tale here at Fratton Park since the equaliser. And Nani blocks across. Davis. Vidic given away to Davis. Suddenly everything falling Portsmouth's way. Ferdinand away. Still the danger not over. It's Ataka. Now Montari. In by Traore this time, Vidic away. Here's Nani, United struggling at the moment just to regain their composure. But this is Giggs. Ronaldo blocked and away by Taylor. I don't think Herr Eidersen knew much about it. A much more open game we have now. Brown. Too long. Oh, that gives us a breather. Now, this game's just been stood in his head and it's down to this man, the changes he made at half time. All of a sudden he has company up there for, for Nugent, who was playing the United back line basically on his own in that first half. Now he's got Benjani up there, Itaki on the other side. And they are having a real goal. Here's Giggs, offside Tevez. Typical direct running here from Cristiano Ronaldo. Treading the tightrope now. Here's Skulls. Giggs. This is Nani. Sudden burst of pace from him. Well, Pamela was clever, just leaned in at the vital moment as Nani's trying to get the cross in. Terrific change of pace to get Nani in behind. Pamela just leaning there as, a, as Nani tried to get it across the face of goal. Brand has had its nightmares for him in the past. Is this to be another? Or do United have it in them to find the powers of recovery that have served them so well down the years? Carrick. 
Here's Scholes. Now Giggs. Montari went in with a challenge. He's got to be careful, Montari. He's on a yellow card. Nani. Here's Ronaldo. Manchester United corner. A job done there from Dimitri Ori. Important thing was it didn't go across the six yard box. A chance to get organised. Fulton and Vidic have gone up again as usual. Contest in size between Traore and Tevez, but can he make enough of a nuisance of himself here to open something up for Vidic or Ferdinand? It's played low instead to Nani. Back to Giggs. Free kick given against Nani. I'm surprised they took it short. Took the big boys up. I expect the ball to go in the box. Look at Portsmouth here as David James hits this kick. They've got four up front, not three, four. Taylor on the left of that four, it's Harker on the right. United head that meets it though, Rio Ferdinand. It's Triori, now Nugent. Butaka! I did well to get the shot away. Comfortable save for Edwin van der Sar, you would say. But again, the alarm bells must be ringing. Portsmouth weren't getting that kind of opportunity in the first half. Here's Montari. Now Otaka. Ronaldo. Walked into trouble with Davis. by Horidison, Evra, now Scholes, Carrick, it's directed header from Tamaro, Traore gets it away though, and moves on to the return from Montari, Benjani's pulled out left here, Nugent in the middle, drives it, oh! A magnificent defending from Evra, I think, who tucked round there just as Nugent thinks he's scoring. Crossover run from the front, front two here. Benjani does well here to, to work the goalkeeper. It's a bad spill, you'd have to say. And Evra does ever so well at the vital moment. Nugent thought he was scoring. Well, I think most of the ground did. As Nugent closed in, looking to profit from the spill from Van der Sar. Manchester United are rocking here. Carrick with a header clear. Well, the two substitutions that Harry Redknapp's already made have transformed the game, and he's going to be wanting to make another one shortly. He's calling Richard Hughes back. I can't believe he's not happy with what he has, Rob. Well, he's telling Noe Pamaro to go down just as the throw it is taken. Which is all helping to uh, slow matters down. So uh, Richard Hughes is going to have to come on for Portsmouth. He's uh, making use of the break to remind players of their jobs. Matthew Taylor, the man who put in the cross for the goal. Jimmy Traore, both in the front line 
for the messages that Harry Redknapp is reinforcing in this break while Pamaro comes off and Hughes comes on. A switch at the back then, Dimitriori going to, to right back. side, Hughes occupying a midfield position. I just wonder if he's going with the back three, Matari is in a pretty forward area there on the midfield area, I think he's going with the three. He's tailing in the drop back in cover. You see as it settles down, certainly no stopping Taylor from getting forward. to give away though, Ronaldo was on his way, goal side of Matthew Taylor, knew exactly what he was doing, stopped the play. <laughs> Ronaldo rather sarcastically offered Taylor his shirt. I'm sure it's an offer Taylor will accept at the end of the game. And you are right Rob, it's, it's Matthew Taylor to left back, it's, it's still a flat four. Stop changing that back line though. Evra. Skulls. Evra. Just a little link up there. And it's Giggs. Skulls. Here's Ronaldo. Blocked by Taylor. build up again for Manchester United but they just can't find that end product yet his gigs this is attempt to cut it out has fallen kindly for Nani has it this was awkward but he's won a corner out of it good defending from Haraibus in a full stretch there Here's Vidic, Skulls to Brown. Here's Ronaldo. Well, Montari, well, he's, he's won the ball. He is treading a tightrope. Montari, he's got to get the timing of those challenges spot on because he's on a booking. And Ronaldo will be easiest to tackle. Here's Tevez. Right in the way. Here's Ronaldo. Taylor picks out Benjani. Ferdinand though gets there. Carrick. Skulls. Too much on it for Nani. It's a slight pass from Paul Skulls, but United have weathered that difficult 5 10 minutes. The tempo back. Tevez. Skulls. Brown. Here's Ronaldo. Giggs flying in. Great tip over. It's a good save. But the cross takes this time right out of the game. Just surprised there's not a red jersey getting across the front of this time because it comes in at a lovely height here from Ronaldo. Terrific ball in. Well, Giggs very nearly made something of that. Can United make something of the corner? Back in again by Giggs. Oh! was a touch. A 
just can't believe there's nobody squeezing him at the front post there and neither can he. Just got such a difficult angle. He's got to get such a deft touch in this, it's almost impossible to score. And Sir Alec Fergus will find it hard to believe there's no one coming in at the back post here. Just that kind of inviting ball from Giggs. They didn't have the presence to make Portsmouth play in. Here's Ben Johnny! That's a good save. An old goes school toss into Van der Sar, but it took a big dip just before him. Well, to take it in. Well, he didn't have the busiest first half header in Van der Sar, but it's been a different story since the break. by Vidic. Vidic who uh, scored himself last season against Portsmouth in the home victory. The standards are so high amongst title winners in the Premier League now that even at this early stage of the season Manchester United just cannot afford to let more points slip away after that opening draw at home. So they'll be turning the screw or trying to in the last 20 minutes. Carrick over the top looking for Giggs. It's too far ahead of him. The surface did him no favours at all. Just took it through to David James. And what a difference in this second half. Manchester United so far ahead. In terms of possession, chances made in that first 45. There should have been more than one up. They have the work cut out now. Benjani. Otaka looking to get on the end of it, but he's been well policed then by Evra. Yeah, Evra again matching the run. Ball forward, just a little bit too heavy in any case. Carrick. No time to settle. More skulls. Hughes was in there digging. Stan has to be wary with Giggs around. Very composed. Tevez though, directing away, trying to get it back from him. Benjani. Back by Brown. Limited play by David Nugent. Sort of the crowd rally too. Won't be too displeased with that either. Defending from the front. Here's Giggs. Forward by Hughes. Here's Ataka. Scholes won it. Scholes has found Tevez. Evers up ahead. Two to his left and two to his right. Ronaldo! Oh, David James got lucky, it's another bad spill here at the back post. Terrific break from United, red jerseys pouring forward. Ronaldo asked the question of, of David James here, and that's a poor spill there. Tevez just can't get his body shape right to hook it back into the net. Montari. Brown, Carrick. Horizon. of their crown for Manchester United so far but 
Still plenty of time to achieve more than a draw from this. Here's Ronaldo. So dangerous when he gets in between the opposition midfield and the back line. Eventually, Haridasen goes to the ball and forces him to pull the trigger. Doesn't really get a hold of the shot. This is the, the moment where Nugent must have thought he was scoring here. But for the intervention of Evra, he was. Here's Ferdinand. In first time by Ronaldo. Towards a safety. with Taylor here's Giggs got away from Tevez Evra Carrick takes the extra touch it's a good block brave block the Portsmouth are breaking and here's Utaka Benjani shows for him Nugent slips and the worst possible moment. yeah first touch was costly He's trying to open his body there with his first touch and goes down. Otherwise, it's a terrific chance. Well, I'm not sure that uh, Sir Alec Ferguson is happy about play being stopped at the moment that it was. After Portsmouth's chance had gone away and just when United were looking to mount an attack of their own. It was... Uh, a block from uh, Sean Davis that's caused him the problem, getting himself in the way of Carrick's effort. Glad of the breather, just previous to the break from Portsmouth, they had given the ball away very cheaply, both Montari and Matthew Taylor, and got off the hook. right out taking in the midriff there Davis winded some of the wind taken out of Manchester United sails and he's still showing that uh, fire the Manchester United manager looking to instigate a revival just under quarter of an hour left do enough to hold on Sean Davis is back on Ferdinand and Vidic be mindful of the uh, costly giveaway of a goal here last year as they were playing their way out of the defensive area then powerful header from Vidic Hughes four goals like him plus the time he's given the ball away all night Paul scores been so much economy about his game no wastage at all Taylor Montari here's Brown Scholes Giggs, Nani, positive run by Nani, Giggs, it's got to be better in from Ryan Giggs, doesn't give either Tevez or Ronaldo who's coming in at the back a chance of getting on the end of that.
too short of 100 league goals now for Manchester United. Ryan Giggs, who scored in every season of the Premiership so far. Here's Benjani. Sorry, hit in. Long way out. Well, all came from Nugent again, winning the first ball. He's not the tallest, but he does get up well. And he wins Portsmouth a corner. Two on winners here against United in April. Can they earn for themselves the same scoreline now? 11 minutes to go. And it's Portsmouth applying the pressure with Mantari's corner. Certainly was dangerous. Nani managed to get it clear in the end. Distan winning it for Hughes. Here's Sylvain Distan. I thought it was uh, Van der Sars, but shout or not, Vidic decided he had to get rid of it. Well, Ryderson's clearance came back at him. Traore up to Nugent. It's Davis. Here's Otaka. Benjani. Sorry, too much to do. Anybody's game, you wouldn't want to call this one. Someone had said that towards the end of that first half when United were bossing it. At the 18 minute mark, it's on a knife edge. Carrick, back by Giggs to Scholes. Here's Tevez. Nani. Again, final ball, not good enough. Tevez looks over in disappointment, he made the run. Angle of the ball did him no favours. Here's Skulls. Now Ronaldo, can he get the better of Taylor here? defending by Matthew Taylor to contain the tricky Ronaldo. Well, John O'Shea scored some pretty vital goals for Manchester United in the run-in last season. Ryan Giggs has thrown the captain's armband to Paul Scholes as he sacrificed to make way for John O'Shea. O'Shea, who scored against Everton and Liverpool, crucially, as United reached for the title. A less crucial goal was here, turned out to be only a consolation goal in the 2-1 defeat at Fratton Park. Defending to do first, though, for O'Shea against Benjani. Slack. Came to position for Paul Scholes, now playing off Tevez. John O'Shea playing central beside Carrick. Here's Rio Ferdinand. O'Shea. Tevez. It's back by Horidison. Ferdinand. Nugent tearing in towards him to unsettle him. Carrick. Well, Montari's gone in again. And he's on a yellow card already, there's a sharp intake of breath, it's a second yellow, he's got to go. Montari is sent off and Portsmouth now will have to hold on for the last seven minutes plus stoppage time with ten men. He's reluctant to go, he's not moving. Such a stupid booking to pick up, he knows he's walking a tightrope. And it's not as if he's had to make a last gasp tackle on the edge of his box to prevent a goal, he's in halfway inside the Manchester United half, it's a challenge that he doesn't really have to make, he can go and press the ball without going to ground, and he's left Portsmouth right up against it for what remains of this game now. I don't think Steve Bennett's got a choice there. Well, he counted to ten and, to his credit, shook the hand of the referee before he left, Sully Montari. But... 
a task that was going to be difficult enough for Portsmouth with 11 men containing the Manchester United onslaught it's going to be even more difficult a man light Brown Ronaldo beats James so Manchester United do get a corner out of it we're not into the territory where we're going to see Edwin van der Sar thrown forward yet There's a bit of bumping and barging going on and a bit of aggression shown between Ronaldo and Richard Hughes and the referee was right on the spot to see that and plenty of players who needn't be getting involved. David James in the middle of it. Steve Bennett had a view of it anyway. He showed a red card. It's Cristiano Ronaldo who's been sent off. Well, it was his reaction to Richard Hughes that caught the referee's eye in the first place before everybody else got involved. And no sooner a Portsmouth reduced by a man than Manchester United see their advantage cancelled out by the dismissal of their star man. Well, Steve Bennett didn't have to ask either of his two assistants who came onto the pitch quickly as it all kicked off. It was so hard for the referee to keep his eye on everything that's happening here. He's seen the left-hand side. Heads go together, Steve Bennett only a yard away. And however little there was in it, if you lean in with your head, you're taking a chance. Well, there's a yellow card as well for Sean Davis. And so the disciplinary measures aren't over yet. He's looking for uh, others who are involved. He has now taken advice from his assistants and he's shown a yellow card to Vidic. Ferdinand pleading the case for the defence but it's all late in the day for that and his corner oh so unlucky skulls with a header well totally unmarked and uncharacteristic of Portsmouth to leave him with that space at the back post plenty of time to try and direct it back across David James into that far corner just a little bit too high Well, no longer with a one-man advantage. United are seeking to gain any advantage they can with what they have at their disposal. And Chris Eagles is set to come on here for them. With time running out and United set to drop more points, having only drawn with Reading at the weekend. Here goes Tevez. Skulls has stayed forward. Tevez is looking for a free kick. He's got his free kick. Sean okay. Davis has just been booked to kick the ball away behind the referee's back. You see Steve Bennett's right here. Just moves the ball inside to your Tevis. Let's play the court. That's a free kick for me. And it's certainly within range here for United to go and want David James again. Well, here comes the uh, substitution from Manchester United. Wes Brown withdrawn. Chris Eagles comes on. Two and a half minutes plus stoppage time left and there may be a little bit of that in the aftermath of the sendings off we've seen. Nani and Tevez over this free kick for Manchester United as the clock kicks, as the clock ticks down. It's Tevez who takes, it's cleared by Distan. Carrick, Eagles. Disappointing return, which Benjani cuts out. Ever is the last man back for Manchester United. You'd expect them to lay siege now in the little time that they have left. Nani. 
On he goes. Should be doing better. Opened up nicely for him. Had a chance to set himself. It's one of the few occasions that we've seen him appear in the central area. Spend most of the night out on the left side. And these were awkward moments for Steve Bennett to try and sort this out. Vidic was right in the middle of the shoving match as the red card was produced by uh, Steve Bennett for Cristiano Ronaldo as if Manchester United didn't have enough problems with Wayne Rooney's injury Cristiano Ronaldo now facing a suspension here's Tevez O'Shea Tevez through to O'Shea It's away by Traore And Johnny Into the face of Evra He can't get out at the moment Portsmouth is only going to come back at him now Nothing sticking for them Well stoppage time will be the key how much is Steve Bennett going to add on? Here's Utaka. He's got past one. Still plenty of work to do for him here. Does he run for the corner with a lack of support? Skulls has won the tackle. Four minutes added on. Is there a winner in it for Manchester United or can Portsmouth shot them again? Carrick, Ferdinand, Tevez, Eagles with a cross, and it was Ferdinand's header. Well, it wasn't far away, it's a very decent effort from Rio Ferdinand, and had he not gotten the end of it, Paul Scholes was coming in behind him, trying to get across Triori there. Van Distan trying to hound that back line up to the halfway line. And squeeze the game into the United half. They've camped on their own 18 yard box in the last five, ten minutes or so. Skulls. Tevez. by Sylvain Distan. Nugent. O'Shea stopped him from progressing. Matthew Chalier, understandably in no hurry. To the right of the line, I'd imagine. Well, now. Well, if they do draw here, few would have foreseen this as a start to the season from Manchester United, from a league programme that began with Reading at home and Portsmouth away. Most would have expected them to get six points, I'm sure. It could be that they'll be emerging with just two. Last time they failed to win their opening two Premier League games, they did go on to win the title. In fact, it was the year of the treble. 98-99 season, they drew with Leicester and West Ham at the beginning of that season. <laughs> Standards have risen so high since that you can't afford to let points get away cheaply, even in August. Four goals. Tevez. Carrick. Just surprised David James cleared as quickly as he did there. Well, there'll be 
more pressure on James's goal as a result from the free kick that Portsmouth have conceded. There may be just one last chance for Manchester United now. We're into the last 30 seconds. Ryderson clears. Anxious checks on the watch all around this stadium. Can Portsmouth hold out? Can United break through? Michael Carrick. Four goals. One goal already. Well charged down. No break for Portsmouth. The end of the match, though, and more drop points for Manchester United. Two draws out of two at the start of their defence of the Premier League title. Paul Scholes' goal in the first half, a first half when they were dominant. You'd never have seen a Portsmouth revival, but it happened. Benjani got his second goal in as many games. Despite them having Montari sent off, they held on. And United's problems were compounded when Steve Bennett, right at the heart of the controversy, sent off Cristiano Ronaldo to pile on the problems to United. Without the injured Wayne Rooney already, they'll now have Cristiano Ronaldo suspended. And it's finished here. Paul Portsmouth won, Manchester United won. Ran out, keeps them keeping in. Retake. Evra. Pedro Mendes for the corner. Well, it was Martin Cooney who was caught two against one there. Again, it's Benjani who was caught. So Cooney was... It's caught between two players there. Scott showing for the corner from Nani, to whom he's given it back. And it's Nugent away. have a goal yet although you wouldn't necessarily rule him out of making a goal scoring contribution such as the minus touch he had for West Ham in the closing part of the last campaign but even so he's had a part to play in the goal that Manchester United have scored now there's little flick Bunting and barging with Noé Pamaro, who won the physical battle. Pedro Mendes. Fine rain has just begun to fall here at Fratton Park. Ryderson lining up the long throw in. It's Montari's cross. A vital header away by Michael Carrick. Yeah, well defended. Good ball into a horrible area there for Van der Sar. Hardly one he could come for. player with as poor a scoring record as Sean Davis might have made something of that had Carrick not intervened. The Portsmouth have one for themselves a corner here so the danger by no means over for United. Christian and Pamela were both in there. There must have been concern there for Van der Sar because it certainly wasn't cleared at full height. Ball was almost on the ground there. Portsmouth with nobody getting round the back. Tarka going down, going down too cheaply for the referee's liking. Anyway, here's Nani. Giggs. Vidic.
Scholes. Brown. Scholes. Giggs. Uncharacteristic from Giggs, and he immediately uh, acknowledges his error. Would have expected that from his captain. Carrick. Now Scholes. Tevez, he's offside, Ronaldo. That's Martin Crini who's looking along the line there, knows he's up in time. It was very tight, Craney's hand goes up immediately and there must have been some relief there when the flag went up. Joe Jordan, a former Manchester United player, and actually in uh, caretaker charge for Portsmouth in a game against United, just before Harry Redknapp's return to the club. Davis's touch, cleared by Everett. Mendes, Benjani, Pedro Mendes, Tevez, Nani, Scholes. Ronaldo, lovely touch into the path of Wes Brown. Giggs, Tevez is offside. You know, he might have rather had the free kick out on the far side there. Cristiano Ronaldo, that it was blocked off there by Herradersen. Tevez clearly offside in the central area. Well, even after the move came to nothing. Cristiano Ronaldo stared for a long time at Steve Bennett, wondering if he was going to take further action against the Portsmouth defender, but nothing was done by the referee. Half an hour gone, and Manchester United, the Premier League's top scorers last season, have their first of this campaign. Paul Scholes, the scorer. Here's Evra. Four over to his right. Tevez was one of them, but Giggs got in front of him and then gave it away. Breaks so quickly though United done in this right back position. Martin Crane has a problem because Benjani doesn't fancy tracking back. So often he's been caught two against one whenever it goes forward to link up with Nani down that side. Now Nani. Brainy covering. Vidic. Davis. Mendes. Here's Sean Davis. And they really are a vocal, passionate crowd here. They're looking for a response to the disappointment of letting points slip away on the opening day with a two-all draw at Derby. They didn't lose any of their first five matches at the start of last season. Bolton were the first team to beat them, and that was here in September of last year. Ever coming in with a challenge on Pedro Mendes. Here's Noe Pamaro. On by Montari and Benjani's looking to get in here. Vidic came across to cover. Oh, Vidic did well. Lovely ball threaded into the inside right channel, and Benjani is playing a little bit wider tonight than he did at the weekend. Would have been in had Vidic not got across. Oh, 
Well, it's Montari with a corner. Tarker had got in front of Edwin van der Sar, but it was a comfortable take for the goalkeeper. Davis has failed to cut it out, and Tevez is onto that sharply. But just as sharp was Martin Craney, whose uh, pace has been a useful asset so far for Portsmouth. That's when they've got to try and get support up to David Nugent. He just helped it in, in behind there, but nobody getting close enough to him to, to link up. Rio Ferdinand will be looking to put behind him the horrors of this fixture last season when United lost in April, when it looked at that stage as though their title ambitions might be wobbling. Ferdinand's own goal was the cap on a pretty catastrophic night. Here's Ronaldo. Brown. Vidic. Noé Pamaro. Ferdinand. Here's Ronaldo. This is Nani. Great tackle. Terrific tackle from Martin Craney. Again, good demonstration of the young fullback's pace. He was caught initially there, tucking in to, to try and pick up Tevez. When the ball was switched left, Nani had a chance to get running at him, and that is good defending. Stayed up as long as he could. If anything, he's making the challenge with the wrong foot there, but did ever so well. well Martin Craney may have to win over one or two of the more narrow-minded sections of the support, which I'm sure is in the minority here for his Southampton connections. But he's made a good start here. Skulls tackling have been the... Uh, best part of his game surprised if this doesn't go in the box Ryderson's gone up offers a very good target back post Davis has aimed it for him got up with a header but Ferdinand clears only to Pedro Mendes who is urged to shoot Mendes again Montari Goal, surely, was he? <laughs> well, this hasn't been a happy hunting ground for Sir Alec Ferguson in recent times. Four Premier League visits, three of which have ended up in defeat. And that would be a worry for the Manchester United manager off the back of the disappointment of the weekend draw when Reading did so well to keep them out. Montari's made a lively start, Carrick there stuck with him, Benjani's come across to try and help out. Here's Nani. And away by Sylvan Distan, who was worried, I think, about a knock that uh, Noe Pamaro had picked up. Oh, it looks accidental, it's Ryan Gase left. Hand that catches him. It's okay. Both of the as well, in the absence of Saul Campbell tonight. Portsmouth fans felt that United should have returned the ball because Distan put it out. Through concern for Pamaro, but United play on. And it comes to nothing. Here's Herman Horidison. Taka. Pedro Mendes. Here's Distan. Moved on by Horidison. John Utaka. Here's Carrick. Now Nani. City among the former clubs of David James, although he's locked horns with Manchester United in many guises, in particular with our other great rivals, Liverpool.
Vidic. Rio Ferdinand looking for Giggs. Amaro had to deal with that. Craney helps it away. Surprised that Ryan Giggs wasn't penalised. Had a little hand on the, the back there of Amaro as the ball was arriving in the box. Perhaps Steve Bennett blindside. Nani. Neat footwork by him, but not across to match. It's just done away. Here's Carrick. Ferdinand. Ronaldo. Tevez. That's Nani's cross. Tevez takes it down and lines it up for Scott. Magnificent trademark Paul Scholes finish, and it was Tevez who set it up. Oh, it's absolutely stunning finish from Paul Scholes to arrive with perfect timing. Decent ball in from the left hand side from Nani with the right foot. But when Tevez controls this, he needs help. He obviously gets a shout from Scholes. The weight of the layoff is perfection, but what about the finish? He's caught it absolutely flush, and the ball's in the back of the net before David James has hit the ground there. Well, Paul Scholes has now scored more Premier League goals for Manchester United than any other player. He was level on 95 with Ruud van Nistelrooy coming into this match, but the man who has long been described by Sir Alec Ferguson as the best finisher at the club has now moved on to 96 Premier League goals, which makes him outright United's best. And there are plenty of great goals amongst them. Another one to add to the collection, and Tevez played his part. Certainly, they did clearly got a, a very early shoot from Paul Scholes, who arrived with all the type of timing that he's renowned for. Oh, that was under the kick, for which uh, Herman Hawadison was challenging. Tussling with Sylvain Distan, who tried to pull back at him. Ferdinand, here's Carrick. Looking for Nani. Evra! Always rising, never really a threat to David James. But I think the problem the Portsmouth have, or Martin Crane in particular, has two centre-backs are asking him to tuck in so that the inside left channel isn't open for Tevez but it's leaving United with a switch on continually to Nani on that side of the pitch good set up play again from Nani it's a situation that Tony Adams and Harry Redknapp and Joe Jordan who's on the coaching staff will be looking to address Nugent helps it on. And Vidic stops Utaka from taking it right the way through. Flag up. Nugent went for the ball. Well helped on there again by David Nugent. Utaka might have tried that first time, might have taken it on first time. It was a nice hit for him. eventually for offside coming back from an offside position Bryderson Brown scored in their last two Premier League matches of last season Carlos Tevez scored against them in one of those games they've never ever gone four Premier League games without scoring before and Paul Scholes has ensured that it's not going to happen in this sequence either Scholes under pressure here though from Davis he 
needed help. He did well to get out of that, Scholes. Giggs. Pamaro's header. Here's Pedro Mendes. Nani's gone to close him down. Johnny's got to do a little bit better with that type of diagonal. Everest not the biggest, not a great deal of conviction about the leap there. Well, the United fans in good voice now. He's his way out of trouble there against David Nugent. His header hasn't carried. This is Giggs. Driven across well. Here's Ronaldo. And it's Brown who's bombed forward here. Where's Brown? Deflected into the side netting for a corner. It's Mataria, I think, who closed down the front post. Great offer from Wes Brown, though. United had nowhere to go on the right hand side. And a terrific forward run from Brown. All of a sudden, it opened up very nicely down that side. to the corner Swings it in, Vidic made a good leap for it, couldn't quite get there Nani Skulls again Ferdinand measured ball into Nani and Davis came in with a challenge Well, Senna had to take some of the ball, he was wrong side there to make the tackle Steve Bennett well positioned to call it Lovely little reverse here from Rio Ferdinand. Shaped as if he was going to knock it into the back post. with United is uh, under threat from Ryan Giggs. Giggs and Scholes, part of the golden generation from Manchester United that still to this day bears fruit alongside the uh, new players that Sir Alec Ferguson is always introducing. Scholes and Giggs in particular have been mainstays of this team over the trophy-laden success years that they've had. Himself, I'm sure, would have been pleased with that finish from Paul Scholes. He's been pretty happy overall, Rob, with what he's watching. United's work has been very good, moved the ball very quickly. Well up for this, well up to speed, both when they have the ball and when they don't have it. Pressing it really well in every area of the pitch. That's it. Here's Nani, cut out by Horidison. So after misfiring on the opening day, Manchester United come to a venue where they've underperformed in recent times, beaten on three of their last four Premiership visits. And Nani there takes a quick free kick looking for Ryan Giggs. Steve Bennett was in charge when Manchester United lost the FA Cup final last season to Chelsea, denying them a double. The league was the one they really wanted to win.
but they haven't started their defence too well. A real surprise that they failed to score as much as that they failed to win at the weekend. Here's Nemanja Vidic. Craney with a header away. Craney has played in the Premiership before for Southampton, scored an own goal on his debut against Chelsea. Here's Tevez. Well, Harry Redknapp has been a little bit more cautious tonight. Played a 4-4-2 at Derby at the weekend, but certainly when they lose it tonight, on either side, Utaka and Benjani are just dropping off to make up a five. Make it more difficult for United to get Ronaldo and Nani on the ball on either side of the pitch, and it's going to make it a bit more difficult for David Nugent up there on his own. Portsmouth keen to break up United's flow. With the introduction of Tevez, they've been given a real boost here, United, and they needed it. Tevez wasn't uh, considered fit enough and ready enough at the weekend, but he's been pressed into action maybe a little earlier than United would have liked. They've talked about the derby on Sunday as the point where they'd like to introduce him but it's needs must here's Ronaldo Pedro Mendes out to him immediately there to press the ball in that protective role just in front of the two centre backs there big responsibility for him in there tonight the Portuguese influence on this game and Harry Redknapp will be hoping that Pedro Mendes exerts himself and that it's not the wide men of United Nani and Cristiano Ronaldo who wreak havoc Nugent going for the header although he didn't get anywhere near it it's Ferdinand with the header away Sean Davis Pedro Mendes there's Nugent and now Craney Vidic forced into the corner by Nugent Plenty of clubs who looked at Nugent, but it was Harry Redknapp who took the gamble on the man who's forged a great reputation in his time with Preston. Craney's throw, cleared by Vidic. And Johnny lost control, and it was Giggs who cleared to Tevez, who is the furthest forward for United. Giggs has got into that position now, and he's looked to play him in between Craney and Distant. Craney did well to get back, so the real turn of pace here because United broke very quickly. Good body strength on the halfway line by Tevez here to turn under pressure and try and play Giggs into the inside left channel. And Tevez has started as a, a centre forward. And he's cross. No problem for David James in taking that. Nothing to hit there, David James looking for a bit of movement further up the pitch, nothing on for him. Montari. Away by Ferdinand. It's for Ryderson. Skulls. trying a trick or two but it's taken away from him by Montari who's tried to play Nugent in and well, that's going to be the story of the night there for David Nugent a little nudge there from Vidic wasn't spotted by Steve Bennett and well, there's a push in the back of Vidic by Nugent himself first and Vidic then maybe overreacted it's just a talking to It's going to be a tough night for David Nugent, he's going to be playing against Vidic and Ferdinand on his own at times. This was a delightfully weighted ball in behind him, Vidic is always getting round and just blocks him off there to protect his goalkeeper. Well, Nugent's push was first. Vidic met it with an equal response. There's Noé Pamaro. Skulls, Carrick, 
Giggs. Trying to spread it wide to Carlos Tevez. Home debut tonight for David Nugent, who's prepared to put himself about. Missed a couple of chances at the weekend, and I'm sure he'll be delighted when he does get off the mark. We know he can take a chance. And he will have to take anything that comes his way tonight. I don't think he's going to get too many in open play. It'll take a bit of a battering as well from uh, Nemanja Vidic, who's certainly not shy on the physical side of the game. Brown under pressure from John Utaka. Brown is into the final year of his contract with Manchester United and may just be keeping the position warm for Gary Neville who's not expected back until next month at the earliest Goals. Now Nani. Evra. Skulls. Carrick wide to Patrice Evra. Looking for Ronaldo with his cross. Was there a push in the back of Ronaldo there? Horidison came in and Ronaldo's protests weren't too long, certainly. Certainly seemed to be some contact. Forcemouth a bit sloppy and not stopping the cross coming in from the left hand side. Giggs. Benjani. Is Craney. Pedro Mendes. Great noise inside Fratton Park as ever. Benjani. Horidison. behind Nugent, although the aim was probably for Benjani, cut out by Evra, it's Brown, Tevez up on his own here with three back. Giggs, Tevez, Giggs just couldn't take it in his stride. Okay, it's Craney tucking in there, as he's had to do on several occasions tonight, but Tevez has done well so far, and he has been asked to be the focal point of the attack, the centre forward. He's doing not too badly at all up there. Vidic. Nani. Here's Vidic. Skulls. Ronaldo. Giggs. Goals have done the business for Manchester United. Portsmouth here are having to try and counter the goal that Scholes has scored. As Tevez back doing a defensive shift there in the right back here, and he had to, otherwise, Portsmouth are getting a cross into the box. There's another one coming up now, though. Davis's corner. Mangas are always favourite ball in there. Far too long for anybody to go and attack it. Davis took down Pedro Mendes, who's taken a quick free kick here to Sean Davis. Fancies a crack. It's very ambitious from there. 
That's going to do well now and again they fly into the top corner. Good free, early free kick taken by Mendes though. Well, for me, he's been the pick of the bunch for Portsmouth. He's the one who, who's building the game for them. Opened up nicely. Now and again you get lucky. Well, he doesn't need telling what a good goalkeeper Edwin van der Sar is, Sean Davis. He played alongside him at Fulham. Let's come back. And Tevez was there, but couldn't follow it in. Well, the spill was always a danger. It was a really awkward one for David James. He reckoned he should have had more protection in it. It should have been cleared when it came off him. Ever challenging with Craney. Clipped in by Giggs. And that time he did have protection and not necessarily needed. Horidas, though, couldn't take the chance. Yeah, dead right. Whether he got a shout or not, if he can deal with it, he's got to do that. And he got it safe. Anxious times again, though, for the home side. Giggs. Nani goes low. Another corner off Nugent this time. An easy spell for the home team this already trailing to lose a second goal here would make the second half a real uphill struggle for them go, go, go. looking long from this one Ronaldo pressing a battle to keep it in did that in a tight spot some tussle with Pamaro that He's won a corner. I won out of nothing as well. Had nowhere to go out there in the line there, Ronaldo, and somehow managed to win a corner out of it. And as you say, Rob, absolutely crucial here that Portsmouth don't lose another one. The way United are playing, I don't think Harry Redknapp said to give them two of a start. It's Giggs with this kick. a decent save from David James Pamaro shows Ronaldo onto his left side but opens up enough for him to get a shot away and he felt that a blue jersey should have been first to get the clearance away eventually they did, did see it out Anderson taking no chances at the back post Ronaldo will have quite a struggle on to match the standards he set last year. Oh, never slipped. Here's Nani. Talked of as a new Ronaldo, although in truth he's not actually uh, that much younger than Ronaldo himself. Just a couple of years his junior. Sylvan Dista. By Craney. Dista and David James, both former Manchester City players, and that's the team that United face next at the weekend. Here's Sean Davis. Now Craney. Vidic with the header clip. Evra. Here's Montari. Dispossessed by Carrick, who's 